Welcome back to the channel. This is Wei Hao at the Dragon Back Solutions. This week, we are trying something different. Recently, a co worker of mine sent me a very curious case he was having trouble with. As Halloween is coming, I think it's fitting to present this case as a mystery challenge to you and see if you can demystify it. The case comes from a solution that the client used to calculate job schedules. So let me start by showing you how this feature is built. The objective of this feature is pretty straightforward. They want something that can automatically calculate the start and end week for their jobs. So here, each record represents a job. The start week number indicates which week the job starts, and the first job always starts on the first week of the year. Then the duration is a user modifiable field that tells us how long the job would take. The end week number is a calculation that indicates when the job will be done based on the start week number and the duration. As they will only work on one job at a time, the next job's start week number should be one week after the last job's end week. So here we have a relationship that will allow our start week number to look up the end week number from the previous record and add one to it. So far, everything makes sense, right? Some of you might have already spotted the part that's off. If we follow this logic, the third record here should start on week eight instead of week five. And everything after the third records are all off as well. It seems like instead of taking previous records and week number and add one to that, the formula of start week number takes the previous record's duration and add one to it. So of course, when I saw this, my first reaction was to double check the formula of start week number to make sure it is referencing the correct field. It is. What about the relationship? Is it correctly fetching me the previous record? Let's use the data viewer to find that out. In this table, I have a serial number field that is unique. So we can use it to help us verify if the relationship is giving us the correct record. If I'm on the second record, the relationship returns serial number one, meaning it's correctly pointing to the first record. So far, so good. If I'm on the third record, the relationship returns serial number two, meaning it is correctly pointing to the second record. I tried this on all records I have. They all check out. So the next thing I tried was to copy the formula from the start week number field and tear it apart in the data viewer to verify each component individually. First, let's verify the condition. Everything checks out. Then, let's verify the returned result. Watch closely. Starting from the third record, even though the relationship points to the end week serial number field, it returns the value of the duration field. What's going on? I'll admit, when I first saw this, it felt a little bit spooky, and it made me wonder, is FileMaker bugged? Intrigued? Very well. I was able to figure this out eventually, and I can assure you 
this is not a FileMaker bug. So here's the challenge. This demo file is available for download in the description below. Please try it out and leave us a comment telling us what you think is the reason behind this curious behavior. As a bonus, tell us how should we fix the issue and achieve what we wanted to achieve. We will announce the answer in our next video. Happy troubleshooting!